how do you know uh, if what you have created as a chef is any good? I mean, obviously, you know does if it tastes good, but as creators, we're creating things that are we're, for public consumption, right? Yeah. How do, how do you know as a professional chef, how do you know if what you created is any good or not? Yeah, I'll let you in on a little secret first, uh, Dustin. Um, um, I never think it's good enough, ever. Uh, um, but it's... You know, it, 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 it's one of those BS like like job interview questions where you know what's what's your biggest fault? Well, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, it's like so yeah. so yes, yeah, so there there is there is something to that, but um, but I never think a dish is done uh, uh, once it's out in the ether, right? Um, you know, I I always think of tweaks uh, that could be made, especially as I do field tests and things like that and actually uh, consume the thing that's that, that, that's made after it after it makes it out into a number of restaurants um so so i never really think it's done but um you know with um with groups um that own a number of chain restaurants like Cardi's and carl's you know thousands of restaurants um, uh, or, or hundreds or even a handful of restaurants. If you're making the same thing in multiple locations, um, you got to test it, right? It, it, you, it, first you need to, uh, and this is what I do and uh, it, it, it's, it's worked well for my career so far. Um, I surround myself with marketers that are smarter than me, uh, um, and, uh, with culinarians whose palates are better than mine. Um, and then I just look super smart because they they all workshop it um, in 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 the facility before it, before it ever gets out to the general public, you know. And then if you have the means um, and the testing medium and uh, things like that, um, you workshop it with with your core consumers, right? And yeah. um, and get an idea if if it's hitting all the marks that you designed the food for. Um, will they buy it? How often will they buy it? Um, is it is it like a life changing uh, experience? Is for it duck them? fried duck? <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, uh, are they taken to another place? Um, does it does it hit on some kind? Does it tug on some kind of heartstrings? Uh, mm. uh, nostalgia, um, which is which is how I've historically trained my teams to develop food uh, with with empathy and uh, you know find find that emotional tie. To, uh, to to the food as well, while elevating it. So something that you know people may have grown up with or ate on Sundays after church, right? Uh, um, you know, how do you take that casserole style dish and elevate it to an experience that reminds you of it, but uh, gives them the best version of that that they've ever had? Wow. So uh, so it, you know, it, it really depends on the dish, but. Um, in my head, I never think it's done, uh, um, but uh, but you know the consumer will tell you whether or not they like it. Yeah, man, that's I mean, there's so much stuff in there that you just said. It's just, <laughs> it's just loaded with goodness. As as you were talking, I was thinking about a couple of things. One about being able to test it and what what mediums of creativity uh, get to have that testing. Like you said in my first question that I asked you, you kind of get some of that immediate feedback if you write a song or poetry or a short story or something like that, that you need to send out uh, into the, into the world. It, it's going to take a minute for people to really kind of digest it for lack sure. of a better term. Right. But for, but for food, you get that immediate, like, ah, I don't like this or mm, yes. Give me more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that, that like table pound, you're like, Ooh, that yeah, is the, good. The table pound is, is, is the money shot. I imagine. Yeah.